Hi, I'm Mrs. Brown and I will be reading the next section. The news. Sometimes when Julie and I go for walks, I'll break at the corner. Corners are the best for fresh news. And she'll tug and say, come on, Bob, there's nothing there. Oh, but there is. Here's the thing about poop and pee. I get that humans are not into them. I see the bathroom door shut tight, the embarrassed downcast gazes. You guys are totally missing out. There's a whole lot of info hiding in your average pee mail. When dogs want to share the latest gossip, we just wait until nature calls. You'd be amazed what we can learn during a quick bathroom break. People read the news, check the TV, browse the web. I linger over a fire hydrant and inhale the whole wide world. My ears, by the way, are almost as remarkable as my nose. I pick up on all kinds of things humans can't hear. What we do with our noses and our ears is kind of like taking a big old knot and loosening it up, separating out the strands, unbraiding things. People smell a reeking pile of trash in a dumpster. We smell a dollop of cream cheese, a hint of peanut butter, and a smattering of Fruit Loops. People hear the roar of a crowd in a stadium. We hear a strain of whiny four-year-old, a whisper of worried superfan, a note of grumpy hot dog vendor. Man, dogs are cool. Snickers. While I watch from my perch on the back of the couch, Julia passes by on the sidewalk. George asked her to keep her dog walk walking route close to home in case the weather changes. She's wearing a shiny purple raincoat and leading three dogs, a goofy mutt named Winston, a timid Dachau named Oscar Meyer, and her, Snickers. An old nemesis of mine, Snickers is a fluffy white poodle with delusions of grandeur. A big snooty pain in the puffball. Oh, that pooch drives me crazy. Our mutual dislike goes back to my early days as a stray. Snickers was a fancy, pampered, sleep on a pink satin pillow kind of gale. Her owner, Mac, ran the mall where I lived with Ivan and Ruby. That's where I first encountered Snickers. She teased me mercilessly, and beneath the fuzzy facade, I always suspected there was a little, I don't know, spark there. Anyway, after the mall closed down, Snickers being Snickers landed on her feet. Mac married an older widow lady with more money than sense, and she dotes on that ridiculous poodle. Mac's too lazy to walk Snickers himself, so he hired Julia to do it. Looking good, Snick baby, I call through the open window and she gives me her curled lip, squinty-eyed face, which, come to think of it, is pretty much how she always looks. As usual, Snickers is dressed to the max. She's wearing a pink poncho, a sparkly rain hat, and teensy pink boots. Those boots were made for mocking, I add for good measure. It feels good giving her some grief, but before I can really relish the moment, another annoying acquaintance of mine appears. Nutwit. Nutwit, the gray squirrel who, li who lives in the live oak in our front lawn, jumps to a lower branch looking at me with barely concealed pity. I hate pity, especially the barely concealed kind. I don't know why you taunt her, he says. You're hardly in a position to talk. Bob, you are Snickers. Come over to the window and say that. So you can what? Drool me to death? Are you aware that my best friend is a gorilla? I asked. He, you would make a fantastic ape chow dude. Nutwit reaches for a dangling acorn and yanks it free. I thought gorillas were vegetarians. Ivan eats termites, I say. He might make an exception for you. Face it, Bob. You're soft. You're one step away from your own pink rain boots. He has a point, says Minnie, one of the family's guinea pigs from her cage next to the TV. No, he doesn't, says Moo, her cage mate. Yes, he does, Minnie squeaks. Doesn't, does, does, doesn't. Minnie pauses. Wait, you tricked me. The guinea pigs rarely agree on anything. Nutwit leaps over to the window ledge, acorn and paw. He presses his tiny twitchy nose to the screen. You couldn't last a day out here, Bob. Some of us have to live by our wiles. Hey, I lived on the street longer than you've been alive. 
Nutwit nibbles his acorn. He's quite the prissy eater. Whatever you say, Bob. I say scram. Fine, hint taken. Anyway, storm's en route. I should be stacking up on my nut stash while I can. Nutwit gives me a wise guy look. That's how we do it in the real world. He scampers off with an acrobatic flourish. Squirrels never do a simple jump when a quadru quadruple back foot cartwheel is an option. You're full of it, I say to nobody in particular. We're full of it, says Minnie. Yes, we're extremely full of it, says Moo, and they popcorn in agreement. Guinea pigs hop up and down when they're happy. It's called popcorning and it's totally ridiculous. You're happy, wag your tail like a real mammal. I'm not soft, I mutter, nosing my protruding belly. I leap with effort off the couch. Then I head to the bathroom for a good long drink from the water bowl of power.